What's going on everyone? I wanted to make a quick video of something that I made this week that I believe will be a great help to a few select people out there. If you don't know, I'm actually an English teacher. I teach junior high and high school English. And because of this coronavirus situation, all of us as teachers have been stuck to teaching our classes online. And some teachers have had a difficult time with this, especially in this one factor in administering quizzes and tests. So this next video, if you are not a teacher, if you're not involved in education whatsoever, you can go ahead and skip. Uh, just keep an eye out for our next video and that could probably be a big help to you if you're a web designer. But if you're one of those select few, which is like me, who is a teacher, but also knows a little bit about web and web design, I want to teach you something today that I believe would be a great help to you. I wanted to figure something out where I can send a link to the students for them to take a quiz or a test. At first, I thought about using this special program called Quizmaster or whatever, where you pay, I think like $50 a month so that you can administer quizzes and tests to these students. But I'm a web designer. I know I could figure something out that would be free, that'd be more efficient uh, than this program. So I thought of making a quiz through one of my favorite tools right now, which is Webflow. So let us hop right into it. We're gonna teach you in a couple of minutes how you can make a quiz in Webflow and then just send this link to the students and then they'll take this quiz right away. So let's hop right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. I'm gonna introduce you to one of my favorite tools which is Webflow. Webflow is a web design platform, a web development platform, and we're gonna go ahead and make the quiz here. So go to Webflow, sign up real quick, and you are good to go. You can even you don't have to pay. You can get one of their free plans, and that should be able to take care of you. Now, <clears throat> as we go to the dashboard, we're gonna go ahead and click New Project. And then we're gonna get a blank site. It's gonna be a basic quiz that you can send to your students. So we're gonna go ahead and click blank site, uh, site and we're gonna call this Corona Quiz, all right? And here we are, there's our workspace. Let's go ahead and go to the plus sign. And we're gonna make a section. And this section is where we're gonna contain our quiz <clears throat> and then inside that section we're going to add a container now uh, the container is a set width and we're going to go ahead and stick to that width because we want it to be responsive and mobile this test is designed so that students can also take their test in their computer their ipad even their phone so we're going to go ahead and click section and i want to add some padding that's just i want to add some margins on top so you're going to go over here go to padding and then click 100 got a good margin on the top and the bottom just 100 pixels there all right now in the container we're gonna go ahead and put a heading so let's put the heading here I'm not gonna change the title we're gonna call it I'm not gonna change the font or anything it's set at 38 and 44 which is a, a good size we're gonna go ahead and put corona quiz one that is the name of this one for this particular quiz it was for my ninth through 10th grade class and then what we're going to do now after this well i'm going to go ahead and put some padding on the bottom right now is about or some margins at the bottom that's about 10 pixels underneath we're going to go ahead and add about 30 underneath that and then we'll be able to do that now what we're going to do this is the most important part this is going to be your quiz okay you're going to get the plus sign right here and then click forms where is that uh form block there you go right here form block and go ahead and insert that right underneath the, the heading. Now, if you can see, the form is not inside the container. So you wanna go over here and make sure that it is inside the container. Okay, there you go. Now we have our name and our email address. That's good for the most part. We don't really need the email address. What I need is actually their name. Okay, uh, sorry, their date. The date of when they took this quiz. So we're gonna go ahead and put date right there now before you do that you need to specify it on the settings so go to settings right here and as you hear if you see it says name for name so that's correct uh because this will be your email when you when you, you're gonna get an email with the answers 
and it's going to be saying you know name and then their name next to it so you want to make sure this is the correct one as you can see if we click the box for under date it says email so we want to change that to the word date and we're going to go ahead and change this instead of email just to make it plain so plain text we don't want to put any limitations as far as numbers <clears throat> or email address or anything like that now what we're going to do is we're going to do a process of just copying and paste and copying and paste but, but before we even do that, we're going to add an instruction. So we're going to add another heading right underneath here. In between there, we're going to do it H3. Make it a little smaller. And then we're going to go ahead and put here the instructions. And the instruction was, lost my instructions here. Please answer the following. Now, I don't want to make it too confusing, so we'll actually make it smaller and we are going to make it italicized just so it's kind of different a little bit. And also, as you can see, it's a little too close right here. So we're going to add a margin on the bottom, just like how we had it a while ago where we just make it 30 pixels. Okay. Now, this one's the easy part. We're going to go ahead and click. We're going to get the date. This field label, we're going to copy it. So press Command C or Control C if you have um, a Windows computer. Go ahead and press Command C and then put it right underneath that. Just click that one, then press Control V or Paste, and then you'll have that. And then go ahead and get the text box. Same thing, go to date and then put that. Now, as you can see, we want this is where we're going to put our question. So I'm going to go put number one What is a noun? As I mentioned a while ago, I teach grammar and composition. Right now we're going over what nouns are. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this about five times so that we are gonna be, uh, so that we have all the questions. So we're gonna go ahead and click here, go ahead and copy that one. Go to this one and then Control V, okay? Now as you can see, there's a margin there that we don't want. And that was because this was copied from this box. So we're gonna go ahead and fix the margins Make it only about 10. Okay. Should be good to go. Well, what we're going to do actually is we're going to. So right now we have a problem. When you change this one, it changes this one as well. So what we're going to do is we'll just add a subclass. Click right here next to this. And just I'm just going to put the number two. Okay. So this is text field two. So that if I change this, this won't change. These all stay the same. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make this 10. Good. So we have what is an and then go ahead and copy this, go right here, and then do that. And then go ahead and put your second question. Number two. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy paste all of this, going through it one by one. Here we go. Now, before we move on to the next five questions, what happens now is I'm going to go ahead and change the section. Uh, we're going to have a different instructions on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. Okay. And then we're going to paste it right here. Now, this one, if you see the, the gap that we want is not there. If you want the gap, I mean, it should be fine. If you want to make the gap bigger, I want to keep it this gap. But if you want to make the gap bigger, you could just go ahead and take out the number two right here and see. You have that gap, but I, I, I like the gap there, so we're gonna keep it, okay? All right, here we go. Next five questions. Actually, you know what I just realized? Let me just pause real quick. I don't like that the font is bold. And the reason why is that because I want to make this part right here bold because that's what I want them to answer. So a really simple solution for that. Go ahead and highlight the whole thing. And I like to just go ahead and press Control B. Oh, no. My bad. Not that. <laughs> and then go ahead right here where it says typography. And we'll change this to normal. Okay. And so now we have 
our thing, but I, I'm gonna show you something to make it easier. So as you're typing this, it's not bold anymore. But then there's a part there that I wanna make bold. There's actually a shortcut, just as you would type in Microsoft Word in real life, you just do Control B and then this becomes bold. And the reason why I wanted this bold is because this is where they will be, um, that's where they will choose what is the correct answer. Okay, now that we have our questions, we're gonna go ahead and put some space here. I want it a little bit farther on the submit button. So we're gonna go ahead and click this, delete the number two. And now that I look back at it, I do wanna go ahead and put some space here. So we'll go ahead and delete number two there. And there we go, we have our quiz. Now, we're not done yet. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and publish this. Okay. One thing you still have to change. And the, what is that? What that is, is the text field right here. Go ahead and click one of your text fields that you want to change. I just, well, let's go back to name. Go ahead and click name and then click that gear button right here. Notice it says name. That one's fine. And this one says date. That one's fine. But then if you see this one, it says date two, date two, date two. And all of them say date two. And we don't want that. What we need for this for them to be actual numbers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click ID, press one, and then over here, one. And then over here, we'll go two, two. And what's it doing is, well, actually it will say node and node two, but it's the name is one and two, and that should be fine, okay? Uh, but go ahead and click this. We wanna change this over to three, three, and just keep on going. Now, are we done? Well, we want to check all the devices, make sure that they look good. So you can see this is what it looks like on a desktop. We'll go ahead and click this I button to see the preview. So it looks like on a desktop, on an iPad. But you can see once we get to phone, we have a problem. It looks weird, doesn't it? So what we're going to do, we'll go back to the creating mode and go to section. And what you're going to do is go back to this paintbrush right here and just add some padding on the sides. This is actually something that I do with all my websites. I always add padding on the sides so that once you get to mobile, then you have a nice uh, um, padding. That's what you call it outside the actual form or whatever is the content inside that page. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and hit publish. And let's go ahead and try our quiz out. Now, I, I have all the answers already. So go ahead and click publish and then go to this part right here, this arrow, and you're gonna go ahead and get to the website. Here we go. I'm gonna go take this quiz and then we should receive an email with the name, the date, and the answers. Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and click submit. Fingers crossed, let's see if it works. Thank you, your submission has been received. Here we go. Oh, before, oh, there you go. And then it says right here, as you can see, Corona quiz, person, place, blah, 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 answers, name, and date. Now, there's one last thing you may wanna do that I forgot to mention, I will say right now, is go to the settings, go over here, Click, uh, click the these bar uh, the W right here and click Project Settings, and then you want to click Form. Now this is where you can set it up. This is where you can set up what email it will be sent to, form name from name. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this Corona Quiz, and then subject line Corona Quiz Answers. Save changes, and then you will get that email. So how are you gonna send this to your students? Well, once you get here, or even from there, really the key is this one right here, this button. 
takes you to the website, corona-quiz.webfood.io. And what I do is, what I did, what I did actually for our class, as I said, all right, it's time for us to take our quiz. And then right as I, and I said, once I drop this link on the chat, you can go ahead and take it. And I hope this can uh, be a help to you. Uh, let me know, check out my answers, see if I got them all right. Let's debate down in the comments and let me know. Well, I hope that video was a help to someone out there. Really, that's my goal. I just wanna be a help in one way or another. I may not know everything, but whatever I do know, I wanna relay it to you guys and help someone out there. If you liked it, if you enjoyed it, if you learned something from it, would you be someone really cool and like the video, subscribe? Let me know below if uh, this content was valuable to you. I would appreciate it and would love to hear from you. We have a video coming up this week, which I think you web designers will enjoy. Until next time, see you again. Peace out.